Hey fire signs. If this doesn't resonate, you can always check out your other placements, your Sun and Rising Venus, whatever, you know. We're just going to pull the card, see what pops out. This is going to be a love reading. The first card that comes out is like all these chess pieces. All of these ones are white and then the one is black and it does say racist. Xenophobe. I don't even know what that means. Xenophobe. Dirty money. And canceled no longer existing. Okay, so I feel like you guys could have dealt with somebody who was like low key racist, or maybe they made it clear that they were racist. Like, I don't know if you guys were in a like, let's say you're white and you're dating somebody who's like a different ethnicity, right? And like, all they did was talk bad about like other people. I don't know. I just feel like this person could have been very racist. They could have done a lot of illegal activities. I'm hearing gang, so there might be somebody that was like in a gang here. Um, with the dirty money card, they could have been doing things that are illegal, like do, you know, selling drugs and you know, whatever, money laundering, stealing, scamming, frauding, whatever this is with the racist card. It's like this person was not like the others. So this person, I feel like you've kind of like canceled them out of your life. You want to know what I think. The water signs and the air signs that I've already done had had this card too as well. Um, and it's like you're no longer wanting to deal with this person. It's like you're no longer trying to be singled out or this person. Like even if it's not racism, maybe it's prejudice. Like maybe this person like just hates everything and just like everything upsets this person. I think this person was not happy with themselves and so they put other people down. They did shit that they shouldn't have done. This person could be facing jail time is what I'm hearing. Yeah, exposed truth revealed. On the bottom of the deck. This person could be facing jail time. Look at the lights up here. It kind of looks like the interrogation room. You know what I mean? Like the lights that are like bright in your face. Um, I feel like this part. Look, this card flipped up. Naive, romantically, inexperienced, overly romantic. I feel like this person's not really was, was not really like looking for love. Like this person's like, I don't think they had long connections. I feel like this is somebody who's used to being by themselves. I feel like this is somebody who's got a lot of shit going on in their life. This isn't going to resonate for everybody. This is going to be like really specific. I want you to be my lady and I'm going to take time. No need to rush. Take my time. No, no need to rush. It's like this person expects you to wait for them and they want you to be theirs. And, but yet this person is kind of like, you don't want them. I feel like you've kind of like, you said, you know what? I can't deal with this. Like, I don't want to deal with somebody like this in my life. And you have non-supportive. So it's like this person did not like support you in things that you wanted to do or things that made you happy. This person could have been very controlling. They could have been very controlling with your money too. I don't know if they've taken your money. Like I'm literally seeing like a transaction like online. So like maybe they've sent you or you sent them money. I think this person was involved with the wrong crowd. Okay. The wrong crowd. And it's something that they like. It's like something they've grew up in or something that they like. That's the only thing that they know. Expect a drunk or drunk call or text soon. Like this person's not going to give up. Even if you've tried to push this person away and walk away from them, even if you've blocked them, they may be even somebody that creates like another fake account just so they can get back in contact with you. This connection is one sided. Yeah, I feel like it's because this, I feel like you guys did a lot for this person. And I feel like you felt like you were not getting your worth back, right? And so it's like you guys are just, you're putting yourselves first. Completely done. I was here and lacing up your boots when I was going to say that. And then you have completely done. Like you guys are totally like, this guy's got his back turned. This guy's walking away. He's got his back turned. And then you have surprise. So... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to clarify the surprise, though. Secrets. I think this person was filled with secrets. This person could have had a lot of things that they kept quiet about you. Like, you may not know a lot about this person, okay? They may literally, like, not tell you about their past or about their family or about their other relationships. Like, this person keeps a lot of secrets. They're very, very, very secretive, okay? And there's somebody that does not open up. They could also be somebody that... You know, rather push illusions and delusions in your mind rather than tell you the truth. It's like they try to make you see them for who they want you to see them as rather than for who they truly are. Because if you were to really see this person for who they are, I feel like you guys would have left a lot sooner. Toxic on the bottom of the deck. Unhealthy, poison, delusions, nasty behaviors. Like this person could have literally like tried to like do something bad to you. 
I don't know why I'm thinking of somebody like poisoning somebody. And that's crazy because I never get that in a rating, like ever. This person was either very toxic to your soul or like they tried to do something to you or they could have. If you would have stayed with this person, I don't think it would have went well. Let's just say that this could be like a low key, like psychopath. For me to envision somebody like literally poisoning you, you have distance. So I don't know if you guys live like across an ocean or if you guys live very far or if there was a separate. I do feel like there's a separation. And then you have the dice right here, which says kiss lips. I'm not going to say the other one. Memorable kiss, once a kiss. Like this person cannot get over you. I'm going to clarify this surprise. And spiraling, not set in stone variables. This person feels like their life has been falling apart ever since you walked away from them. They could have felt like you were their guardian angel. Like you could have helped like bring the light into this person's life, right? I feel like this person felt like having you around made their life so much better. And now that you're not around, it's like their life is just like completely like spinning and they don't know what to do. It's like very risky. This person's definitely missing you, but I feel like you guys have made the right choice, honestly. I do feel like this person's kind of like a little bit of a psychopath. You got the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Something to do with money and power. Money, power, respect. <laughs> That's what came to my mind. This person may like expect other people to respect them. Like they may have like a very big ego. Like this person thinks that they're the shit. What is this surprise? The hangman. The Magician. And the Page of Swords. This person's literally like, they may... <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm getting. It's like, this person may like message you from like a private account with a different picture. And then start talking to you, trying to like, you know, date you and flirt with you and all this stuff. But it's like, it's them again. It's like, they just are trying to get you back in their energy. And the only way to do it, because I feel like you will not take this person back, is for them to literally pretend that there's somebody else. The hangman, the magician, and the page of swords, it's like them being sneaky. You know, the magician is like, you know, manipulation, especially with the page of swords, manipulation about communication, about the truth. And then you have the hangman, somebody that's using you, somebody that's walking all over you, somebody that's taking advantage of you. It's like this person's going to come back as a different person. Because you won't take them back for who they are. There's something about you. You have the Eight of Pentacles. That makes this person feel like safe. The Queen of Cups. Cared for. Loved. Listened to. Like I feel like this person didn't feel like anybody really cared about them like you did. But the thing is that they took advantage of you. They did not do right by you. And it's like now that you've like... You know, now you have more respect for yourself. You love yourself. You're not going to let anybody come in and just take advantage of you or take your money or hurt you intentionally. And so I feel like you chose yourself. And now this person's like they're doing everything that they can to try to get you back. And if they can't have you back as themselves, they're going to try to come after you with like a different name. A different, like I'm telling you, this person's going to message you from like a different account. With a different picture. Be very careful of who you're talking to, especially right after this connection ends, because I feel like this person's going to come right back. It's like a surprise. Not a good surprise. A surprise that I feel like your intuition is going to be telling you, like, be careful. You might see a lot of, like, five, 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 two, two, twos. Six of Pentacles, two of Swords, and the Three of Wands. So I don't think they're going to do this right away. Like when you guys stop talking, they may wait like a few weeks, maybe three weeks, three months. They're going to come back though, but they're going to come back as somebody that I feel like they, they, I feel like this person kind of knows your type. So it's like, they're going to look for pictures that they know that they can use that, you know, you will like gravitate towards. I feel like this person is going to try to talk differently, you know? And then you have the judgment card too as well. So this is really important that you trust your discernment when this happens. Okay? Because I feel like you're going to have a feeling that this might be this person again. Again, this is probably not going to resonate for everybody. I'm probably not going to get a lot of views on this because I don't really get many. And then this is going to be very specific. But this person is just... 
You did the right thing. The Knight of Wands. This person's very inconsistent. They're all over the place. It's like, you know, the Three of Swords. It's like they literally shoot their arrow and to stab people in the heart. It's like they know that they're out there hurting people and they just don't care. It's whatever makes them happy. This is something that they're used to doing. This is something that they're stuck doing and they're happy with it. The King of Wands, as I'm saying that. This is like, I don't know, but I feel like this person feels like they have a lot of power. They could be, that could be confirmation. They could be in the public eye. They could have like a really high position. They may own their own business. I mean, you got the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. This person could be very flashy, like they may always dress really nice, or they may come across as like this, well, you know, mannered person, but in all reality, this person's definitely not. I'm going to clarify the magician and the page of swords and the hangman. I want to, I want to see, I don't like putting my cards in one all together because then I feel like it's all going to fall out together again, and I like to make sure that they... The ones that are coming out are meant to come out. The Hierophant and the Death card. This person wants to bring back this commitment. This person wants to bring back this connection. It's like it's not over in their eyes. Even if they have to meet you and say, oh, I live in like freaking Africa. You know what I mean? And so this way you don't meet. So like this can end up being like if you don't listen to your intuition on this, this can end up being like a long term connection that you are going to end up regretting in the long time, in the long term. They could just like, I don't know, it's just like this person may make up lies to where it's like if you're about to meet them, they're like, oh, well, you know what, this happened and so I can't come today. You know, things like this. It's like this person, as long as they can have you in their energy and just talk to you and feel like you're theirs, then they're okay. They know that you're faithful. They know that you're worthy. They know your worth. It's just they're not willing to be who they need to be or do what they need to do for themselves in order to take care of you. The Five of Wands, they are a very, very difficult person to deal with. You have the Emperor. I don't, I didn't realize all these cards came out. The Emperor, the Ace of Swords. So they're going to come, come forward and start communicating to you pretty quickly, okay, to win your power back. To, to win you back in their life. Because I feel like having you around gave them power. It gave them motivation. It, it made them happy. But they, I feel like this person couldn't make you happy. I'm going to find out what this person looked like. Remember, it isn't going to resonate for everybody. If, even if one card resonates, cool. If not, then don't take it, you know. You have dark blonde hair, red hair, dimples pale skin, and average height. I'm going to do one more. Colorful hair. This person could have, like, different streaks in their hair, or maybe they have, like, two-toned hair, or maybe they dye their hair a lot, or wear different wigs, or stuff like this, and then you have wavy hair. I'm also going to see what this person's feeling and what are they going through. i just seen 1331. Lost soul. I think this person's never met anybody like you. And then when you came into their life, it was like, oh my God, like, I never thought a person like this existed. You know, I got to keep this. But it's like, because of their own habits or ways, it's like they pushed you away. And like, I feel like this person didn't think that you were going to leave. And now this person feels lost without you. Ghosting and silencing like you could have literally ghosted them or they could have ghosted you regardless whatever way that happened I feel like you guys are just completely done with this person Mental exhaustion you're tired of this person like stressing you out not being able to sleep over them not being able to eat Feeling sick, you know, I'm literally seeing somebody in the bathroom like throwing up So you guys could be literally you guys could have took this breakup very 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 Hard Sometimes I can never get my words out and then you have addictions and codependencies. Yeah, this person's addicted to, like, negative things, like negative patterns, especially money patterns. And just the way that they view everybody, like, they could even be, like, a bigot. Like, they may hate everybody. Like, when they talk about people, they're like, oh, you know, blah, 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 about this person and talk about about this person and everybody that they know is bad, right? I just feel like this person kind of feels like they hate everybody. I do feel like you're special, you're different, 
But I feel like the way that they came across made you just it turned off, completely turned off by this person. I do feel like um, you have uncontrollable sweating and addictions and codependency. This person could have an addiction problem. Like I was saying earlier, it could be like pills or like the really bad stuff. And then you have rumors and gossip. There could have been a lot of rumors, a lot of gossip about this connection or about this person. Maybe you didn't listen to it. I feel like if you didn't, you found out what you needed to find out. And now you're choosing yourself, like I said at the beginning ten times. Didn't I say earlier lacing up your boots? Look, there's laces on those boots. <laughs> the first steps. To get ahead, you must take the first step even without knowing the outcome. Just don't stay where you are. Right? So, anyway, I hope this helps. And I hope you have a great day. And it says ego death. I will read this just because I've seen it. Ego can never really die if it don't. It can only be made conscious so that way and no longer runs your life. Be mindful of it and don't allow it to limit you. And I feel like that's this person too as well um, with the ego. Thinking that they're the shit. Thinking that nobody's going to leave them. Everybody's going to want them. But yet they don't even know how to be nice. Anyway, I hope this helps. And take care. Toodles. 1616.